fastest hunt of my entire life. Five minutes, 10 minutes maybe. So about three years ago, I bought a house right here in Waterloo. And during when I bought it, um, our closing date and move-in date was actually November like 5th. <laughs> And my wife was really mad at me because I had scheduled that week off to go film my buddy Parker uh, down at his private property. Uh, he's got a ranch down in southwestern Wisconsin. And uh, actually, awesome story came out um, on the, like the seventh day. He shot a really, really nice buck, got it all on film. It's awesome. But uh, after that, came home and realized that within 10, 15 minutes of my house, there's 4,000 public acres here. And I just, I had no idea it was there, so I just thought I'd start exploring it. And I did a little hunting that winter, uh, like December of 2015, but I used first time out and I had no chance. So fast forward to 2016, um, I started scouting right away in January, February, and trying to figure out where some deer were. I didn't know how much I was gonna hunt the public land at all, but I did wanna get a feel for it since it was just five minutes outside of my house. So I ended up doing a little scouting in the spring and then in the fall came, Parker and I had decided that early season we would film here and, you know, rut and later season we'd go film at his place. It was, it was awesome actually. We, we found some great spots. We got out there. Um, I, we got a few does to come in here and there. Uh, Could have shot a few of them. And it was, it was really nice because we were, we were successful on our first, first year really hunting that property. And in my opinion, success is just finding those deer and, and knowing where they are. We did see a couple really nice bucks, couldn't get them on film, they were ghosts. This is a big marsh area and they just kind of slip in and out of these cattails like nothing. And then towards the end of 2016, we Parker and I, um, we, we didn't have any luck that year filming each other uh, down at the ranch. And then at the end of the year, we kind of said, you know what, next year let's solo, let's solo film. So I said, yeah, you know, that makes sense. I'll, I, I'll hunt five minutes outside of my house. So I ended up coming out here in January, February, March, and I put boots on the ground. Every Saturday for like three months, I was out here with my dog, five hours, six hours a day, and just walking and walking and walking and walking and really putting putting on some miles, trying to figure out where these deer were. And um, I ended up finding some great spots. And so then summer came along and I wasn't able to hunt opener. I had a great elk hunt out in Colorado. That was a lot of fun, no success there, but it was a lot of fun and came back and checked a bunch of my trail cameras and all most of my spots had people all over them so that sucked and i had to just really try to figure out where where i could go that i wouldn't find people i mean that was so i started having to like scout all sorts of places on onyx maps looking for new places to go and find human barriers places that there's a lot of pheasant hunting out here there's a lot of uh, squirrel hunters and small game hunters so I ended up finding one piece that really didn't have any of that habitat for squirrels, rabbits, pheasants, and there were very, very few cars there. I never, I put a couple trail cameras out and never had any people come out there. So I figured I'd start hunting it. And that was one of the spots that I had scouted in the spring. And I knew there was this huge scrape that was out there. And uh, right about the time all this happened, it was about October, October 9th. And I, I actually took the day off of work because I was sick. <coughs> and ended up going out hunting at about four o'clock. And I thought, you know what, it's a good wind. I'm gonna to try to hunt this scrape. It was early enough that they could, they could, I wanted to catch those first deer hit making that scrape right there. It was 70, 75 degrees out with a north wind and it sucked. I thought they usually have a mowed path almost back to that scrape and there was no mowed path. And that was a double-edged sword because there was no people out there, but it was a bear walking through there. I was sweating bullets. It was terrible. I mean, I only went maybe a, a three quarters of a mile and I was drenched and it was terrible. And it took me about an hour and a half to get out to that scrape, walking through five foot tall grass. And there was no scrape. <laughs> My hopes were dashed right there. Like it was like, wow, there's no scrape, too much foliage. I couldn't even get my stand up or anything. So then I just kind of bombed around for the next 30, 45 minutes and I hung a, hung a camera in an area and, and I was just really bumming knowing that like the spot where I was going to hunt is just no good. So I was sitting there staring, looking at my Onyx maps and I found 
this creek that I knew was kind of there. It was uh, like a water ditch for a farm field. And, and I noticed that it came up to a T with another creek, but there was a little land bridge in between the two. And that's a perfect funnel back here. I mean, they don't want to go in the water, so they're going to cross that land bridge. So I figured out, you know, it's on my way out. I'm just going to, you know, call it a night. I'm going to go scout that. If it's any good, maybe I'll sit it. So I get out there and there was the perfect tree. I mean, we've all had that moment where you just find the perfect tree and, and it was there. I, I got up there and that's where, that's where the real story begins. Go down, go down. Yes! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Just dropped a solid eight pointer on public land. I was out here all the time last year. I didn't even get a chance in this year. I'm set up with 45 minutes left of light and he comes in and I dropped him right there, 20 yards. Beautiful shot. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm tagged out. I'm done. <laughs> this is unreal right now. Totally unreal. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking so bad. I was... Oh man. <laughs> Perseverance pays off. That's what it is, man. I was out here scouting all winter. I knew this ditch was here and I just came right up it and oh my gosh. Can't believe it. I <laughs> just can't believe it.